Hey guys, today we're gonna take the Vitax board, the other side and load every single SMD part the resistor, capacitor and the AC uh, they look impossible and really tiny but at the end you will see it's doable with a little bit of patience you can see here we have the Vitax boom file it's a HTML file and it's interactive you can see here when I move you can see where you can put the the parts and you have to label the component bag you get when you order the component exactly the same as this file so you will get will be really easy to just get them and place them as is shown in the in this file when you tag everything this way you just use the id to find the bag for example, if you have the first ID here, you just find the first bag or the bag with the ID 1. If you are in the second component, you just find the bag with the ID 2 and so on. You do that for all components you have on the board and it will be a lot easier to find everything. Yeah, using the same jig we used for the, the ASIC chip and the ESP32 but here I just cut the other side of the, of the stencil apart and use the same same jig 3D jig but just with the different stencil and here you can see that I put it the wrong way always verifying that everything is aligned and okay it's really important to have a good alignment or we will have paste a little bit of the places and when we use the hot gun it will not bind properly and the pieces or the component smd component are really light and they will move and it will be really messy so you have to do this part right here i'm applying the solder paste same cheap paste from aliexpress 183 degree as you can see it's a little bit thick because it's a little bit cold temperature here so if you are in a warm place just set the paste and the board in the fridge and let it cool it will be not too much but just a little bit to have a thick paste um, get between the stencil and the board and it'll be messy and it will go all, all over the place as you can see here how good the alignment is and as we will see after why this is important here I'm cleaning the paste from this two component because I don't want to assemble them uh, with the other component because they interfere with the airflow when I use the heat gun because they are too big so I just remove the paste because if I don't do that it will create an uneven surface and it will be difficult to put the component on the board Now I'm done with uh, cleaning the paste from the those two component and now I have to clean my tweezers really really thoroughly because the component weighs almost nothing and when you start picking them up with the tweezers and trying to put them on the board it will they will stick to the tweezers and it will be really really difficult to get them off the tweezers without losing them or and you have to be prepared that you will lose some so when you order the small capacitors and resistors you have to always to have a little bit uh, order a little bit more than what you need because i promise you you will lose some 
as you can see here, the SMD component come in tape like or grid tape and you have to be gentle when you remove the plastic from that cover them because if you just release a little bit harder they will fly all over the place and it's almost impossible to find them they are really tiny and uh, don't be intimidated by by that i promise you you will you will do better than you think this tape are actually made for pick and place machines nor not for human Do not be sloppy when you put this SMD in place because you will regret it after. You have to be precise, take your time. Because if you put them too close together or pace between them, they will merge together when you use the hot gun and it will be a mess. It will be really difficult to put them apart and you have to do this work again. So take your time and do it right here you have to match the plus on the component to the plus on the board be careful When you are done with the last resistor, they are the most light SMD of all the other SMD. You will feel like a joy, feeling of achievement. Here you have, you can see there is a line on the component. You have to match it to the to the line on the board. Every AC has a marker called pin 1. You have to find it first and match it to the board. You see here the small circle, the AC has a square here, not a circle. So you, have, you just have to, to look for it. Sometimes it's circle, sometimes a square, and sometimes it's just a little looks like defect sometimes as you can see here the little dot this is your first pin and you have to match it to the board if you don't have marking on the board or the component it's a non-polarized component and you can put it either way You have to be a little bit careful with uh, those two on. They are the same and uh, you can see the marking on the board is almost in the middle, but you can see it's not completely in the middle. So just follow it and you can see on the component too. You have the big part there and small pins up. So just double check and be sure to put it in the right place. We are putting now the last component. Starting the heat gun, 350 degree with the lowest possible airflow settings. Starting my air extraction also. Do not work in the closed environment. You have to have air extraction. Do not breathe this stuff. It's not healthy. Just take your time and don't 
don't panic if something goes wrong. If you had here pace between them, they will merge together. And, and you have just to remove everything and put them again. I have done that before and uh, I can promise you it's not, it's not funny. I'm done now with the first pass. I take my flux and add flux in on each AC component and the big one too and uh, almost every part and reflow the whole board again to be sure that I don't have any short I move the part a little bit because it float on the, the flux and the lead and it remove any shorts or any little solder or lead particles between the component they just uh, attract each other and go in the same same place and you have less chance to have shorts in the component Now I'm done with the old component and I'm setting some solder paste on the two big one that I didn't uh, solder in place. One of them is directional and the other one is non-polarized. So one of them I have, you have to, to be careful the direction of the component and the other one you can put it either way. As you can see, uh, I made a little mess because I want to get it perfectly aligned and straight. <laughs> and uh, and uh, yeah, uh, just relax, don't panic and it will be okay. Now we are done with everything and cleaning with isopropyl alcohol. And we are done. Thank you again for watching and uh, for subscribing was amazing thank you again and uh, next video we will put the rest of the component on the other side